Here's an example for a couple. A couple is a pair of forces, two forces that have the same magnitude, in this case 80 newtons and 80 newtons, but opposite directions, so they add to zero. Let me just read the problem statement. Two 80 newton forces are applied as shown to the corners B and D of a rectangular plate. Determine the moment of the couple formed by the two forces by resolving each force into horizontal and vertical components and adding the moments of the two resulting couples. Use the result obtained to determine the perpendicular distance between lines BE and DF. Okay, here's our Excel file. First step, resolve each force into horizontal and vertical components. So we're going to take each of those 80 newtons and split it apart into x and y components. We've got 50 degrees and just make sure down is negative and to the left is negative. Get the right sines and cosines on here. So we're just splitting everything into x and y components. So here's that force coming up from B. So it's going to the left in the x direction. That's going to be negative. Sine is the opposite of that 50 degrees. And then the y component is, is up. So that would be positive and adjacent to 50, so cosine. And you can see if we add together the x components, add to 0, and the y components also add to 0. So this is the point of a couple. These are two forces, and the entire point of these two forces is to rotate something. No translational motion, x and y add to zero, just rotational motion going on in this problem. Okay, now that we have our forces split into x and y components, we can create an, a moment. And we could choose any point we want to to take the moment around, but A seems like a convenient corner. So let's see, there's our forces copied over for where we split forces into x and y components. And we're going to go from A to each of these 80 newton forces. So we're going up 0.3 for that first 80, and we're going over 0.5 for that other 80. So those are the R cross F pairs. And we can do our cross products, even though there's zeros in there, I like to just fill in those equations so I can copy and paste them for future use. 2D problems, the rotation happens around the k-axis. It's happening around that axis coming out of the board. We can copy and paste it. So there's the moments generated from each of the forces. If we add both of those together, that's what those two forces combine to make. So no translational motion, just a moment, and you can find the distance between the forces with that moment. Here's another solution. So we can just crank through some triangles here and figure out the length between those two vectors just by looking at triangles. And we can get the same moment that way if we just find the perpendicular distance between them or if we go through the whole cross product method.